I'll try to teach more tonight and pray a little bit. Nitajitahidi kufundisha zaidi jioni ya leo na kuomba pia. Because this topic about expanding faith is so huge. Kwa sababu somo hili kuhusu imani mlipuko imani ni somo pana. And because faith come by hearing. Na kwa sababu imani huja kukusikia. Si ulivyo ndani yangu. I really beg the Lord to help me do that. Hakika namsihi Mungu anisaidie nifanye hilo. When we speak more about faith we see faith we change situations around us tunapozungumza zaidi kuhusu imani twaiona imani na twabadilisha hali ambazo zimetuzunguka making us see situation change yani kufanya hali tulizonazo kubadilika like this man of capernaum see his servant healed kwa mfano yule akida wa capernaum anamuona mtumwa wake akiponywa and see other miracle happening in a supernatural way God answer prayers because or on our faith na miujiza mingi inayotokea katika nguvu za Mungu mwenyewe ni Mungu anayejibu imani yetu ambayo ni kubwa greater faith we transform situations imani kubwa itabadilisha hali but tonight i want to teach you greater faith will change you lakini nataka leo nikufundishe imani kubwa itakayokubadilisha wewe we transformed you itakayokubadilisha wewe before it transformed others kabla iwabadilishe wengine of course transform you in christ likeness hakika katika haya yote ni kubadilika kufanana na kristo you know i said i've been a minister for the last 40 years naliwaambia mimi nimekuwa mtumishi kwa miaka 40 iliyopita and i was scared to see how people can fall in a time na kama gensa falling or finishing bad or, or just finishing in the wrong way na nimeona watu wakimaliza mbio zao kwa njia ambayo si nzuri and i wonder how somebody may be god's friend prosper and minister and finish bad Nikajiuliza na nikawa nikijiuliza mtu anawezaje kuwa rafiki wa Mungu na afanikiwe alafu baadaye aanguke amalize vibaya. Oh how somebody may finish bad and on the contrary Bible says we go from glory to increasingly glory to better glory and to glory. Inawezekanaje mtu akamaliza vibaya ili hali maandiko yanasema tunatoka kiwango kimoja cha utukufu hadi kingine hadi kingine cha juu. The reality is they increase their faith stretch faith to change situation not to transform themselves sasa ukweli ni huu wametanua imani yao wakapata imani kubwa ya kubadilisha mazingira na wengine lakini si kuwabadilisha hao wenyewe because when you are really transformed kwa sababu ukibadilishwa ile kweli god changes you mungu akubadilisha make you in his likeness aku badilishe ufanane naye he can trust you to put in right position basi atakubadilisha akuweke kwenye sehemu sahihi because he sure you never betray kwa sababu hakika Mungu hawezi kusaliti he can give you whatever you want Mungu anaweza kupa chochote unachokihitaji bless in a higher level akubariki katika viwango vya juu because he knows kwa sababu anajua you never betray him or be spoiled with stuff hutamsaliti au mali hazitakuharibu and when thing to change situation is good na kubadilisha hali na mazingira ni jambo zuri but and when thing to transform is highly estimated lakini upako wa kukubadilisha na kubadilisha ni wa juu zaidi yes, you know we are called to possess things no robber can get ta, ta, no robber no robber or stealer or whatever aha uh-huh. Obsinas. Tumeitwa kumiliki aina ya imani ambayo hamna mwizi yote ama mwibaji anaweze kuja akaiba. I mean our treasures must be unique and specific. Hazina zetu lazima ziwe za kipekee. If I get a car, kama mimi na gari, a robber a killer can get a car too. Muaji au Jambazi anaweza pia kupata gari. He might just be smart in his ways and get a car. Yaani anaua kwa njia zake ambazo ni za ujanja na anapata gari. If I get a house, kama nitapata nyumba, or stuff, au mali. A killer, a murderer, a sinful person can 
technical gear staff too. Jambazi, muwaji au mtu anayeishi katika dhambi anaweza pia kupitia ujanja wake akapata mali. And he may witness God has done this. Na anaweza kushuhudia akasema Mungu amenitendea haya. And it was in a very wrong way. Ingawaje alipata mali hizo kwa njia mbovu. The difference between them they are prospering and also prospering. Tofauti iliyopo kati ya mafanikio yao na mafanikio yetu. It because we are changed before we get. Ni kwa sababu sisi tubadilishwa kwanza kabla kumiliki mali. God changed us before he blessed us. Mungu anatubadilika anatubadilisha kabla atubariki. God transformed us before he blessed us. Mungu hutubadilisha kabla hatubariki. God give us greater faith to overcome sin in this world. Mungu anatupatia imani kuu ya kuishinda dhambi katika ulimwengu huu. Before you overcome po- poverty and all the stuff. Kabla uishinde ushinde umaskini na mengine hayo. If you understand that, ukielewa hilo. For years, kwa miaka, you will stand. Mingi. And your way will be like this. Utasimama na njia yako itakuwa nywe. Until you see him. Hadi umuone. When I was a young believer, a Nili, young minister. Nilipokuwa mkristo mchanga ama nuseme mtumishi mchanga bado. God managed to break me. Mungu aliweza kuniponda ponda. And I was wondering why is he so so tough with me. Na nikajiuliza mbona Mungu anakuwa mgumu sana kwangu. He's blessed people around me. Amewabariki watu walionizunguka. Giving them money. Amenipa hela. Magari. Giving them them. Anawapa hao wao. Aha. Anawapa hao magari, vitu. Elevate them in positions. Akawainua katika nafasi. And I check no sin for me. Why why God is taking so long to bless me? Na nikaangalia mbona sioni Sin? Sin. Sioni dhambi kwangu mbona Mungu anachelewa kunibariki? And God one day explained to me. Na siku moja Mungu akanielezea hili. Masasu. Masasu. If your faith kama imani yako is just enough to give you stuff. Inakutosha wewe tu kukupatia vitu. It's just little. Basi ni ndogo tu. Your faith imani yako must be bigger. Inapaswa kuwa kubwa to change you. Kukubadilisha wewe. And to make a channel na ikufanye wewe mfereji transform people. Wakubadilisha watu. Therefore, kwa hivyo, when they are really transformed, wakibadilishwa kweli, me, mimi, I will just spread stuff. Yaani nitamimina vitu without fearing or bi, wondering. Bila kujiuliza au kuwa na dukuduku. If they will stand or not. Kama watasimama au watayumba. Today leo after this whole journey with the Lord baada ya safari hii ndefu na Mungu we have reached a point where he's my friend nimetimia hatua ambayo yeye ni rafiki yangu and i'm no longer touch with things he does for me na mimi sisukumi sana na vitu ambavyo ananitendea i'm tired with how our friendship is going out lakini naguswa sana na urafiki wetu jinsi unavyokuwa one day one day siku moja just four Five years back or six. Miaka minne mitano sita hivi iliyopita. My daughter and my son come back from school. Binti yangu na mwanangu wa kiume wakarudi kutoka shuleni. They say daddy. Wakasema baba. We have been said that by Monday we not go back to school because school fees are not yet paid. Baba tumetumwa kwako tukaambiwa kuwa Jumatatu tusirudi shuleni kama karo haijashughulikiwa. It can be around 1 million or something uh Rwanda France. Ni kama vile hela za za Rwanda milioni moja hivi na kitu. That time it was like 2000 something dollar US. Ukilinganisha ni kama vile dola 2000 za, za za Marekani. So when my daughter was telling me that. Kwa hivyo binti yangu alivoniambia hayo. Uh, after few minutes she laughed. Baada ya dakika chache akacheka. I ask why are you laughing? Nikamuuliza unataka nini wewe? She said, I know tomorrow is Friday. Na, najua kesho ni Ijumaa. She said, I said, why do you Why Friday? Sasa kama ni Ijumaa kuna nini? She said that you know. Akasema baba unajua. Because since like 35 years or 40 years. Kwa sababu tangu miaka 30 au 40 I've never been out Friday. Sijawahi kuwa nje Ijumaa. Yeah, Friday. I never open my phone Friday. Sija simu yangu hautaipata Ijumaa. I never check email by Friday. Siangalii barua pepe Ijumaa. And they they were born and see me all Friday in na ki, tangu wazaliwe kila Ijumaa wananiona mimi nimejifungia ndani fasting and praying nikifunga na kuomba nikitafuta uso wa Mungu sasa akacheka akasema najua kesho ni Ijumaa rafiki yako atakupa hela like, oh nikasema Mungu wangu 
understand such a lesson. I know you're going to go pay on a bank and then give the, the paper bill back to the school. Najua utakwenda benki utatoa magaratasi pale na hela utaleta tutapeleka shuleni. Her faith challenged me. Imani yake ikantia changamoto. That Friday I went for my prayer time. Ijuma hiyo nikaingia kwenye chumba changu cha maombi. Nikamwambia Mungu, you saw the face of my daughter. Uliona imani ya binti yangu. Just honor her. Hebu mheshimu. And then I will I want to see money today. Nataka kuona hela leo. Believe me. Amen usiamini. By 6 p.m. Saa 12 jioni. Nilipotoka chumba changu cha maombi. Nilimuona mtu amekaa kwenye kiti na ana, ana <laughs> rangi yake ni maji yakunde kama vile askofu aweta hapa. So he has a package like this. Alikuwa na, alikuwa na kifurushi bahasha kubwa hivi. He was there from 2 p.m. Alikaa pale akinisubiri tangu saa 8. Now I came down 6 p.m. meaning 4 hours waiting. Nikashuka saa 12 maana yake alisubiri kwa masaa 8. Then he raised up. Akainuka. And say. Akasema. Mtume. Sorry to disturb you. Samahani kwa usumbufu. I forgot it was Friday. Nilisahau ni Ijumaa. But I just came because my heart was pushing me to come and say Lakini nilikuja kwa sababu moyo wangu ulipiga piga lazima nije. I say okay, whatever, let's go to the prayer room. Nikamwambia okay, kuhusu hebu twende basi kwenye chumba cha maombi. Because the prayer room is my office at home. Kwa sababu ofisi yangu nyumbani ndio chumba cha maombi. So we went. Tukaenda kule. And we sit. Tukakaa. And to the envelope like this. Na akashika bahasha kama hii. Four days passed. Akasema siku nne zilizopita. The Holy Spirit was pushing me. Roho mtakatifu alianza kunisukuma kukuletea hili. Forgive me to delay. Nisamee kwa kuchelewa. It was 5 million Rwandan francs. Ilikuwa ni milioni tano za Rwanda. It was school fees five, five times so I was done. Ilikuwa ni ile karo mara tano. My joy was not the money by itself. Furaha yangu haikuwa ile hela My joy was not really notes and paper or money. Hela ya furaha yangu haswa haikuwa zile noti. My joy was God is my friend. If furaha yangu ni kuhusu rafiki yangu. I can trust him for big or little things. Naweza kumwamini kwa vitu vikubwa au vidogo. Therefore, kwa hivyo, tonight, usiku wa leo, my prayer is. Sala yangu ni hii. Have a greater faith. Kuwa na imani kubwa zaidi. To hate evil. Uweze kuchukia maovu. Have a great faith. Kuwa na imani kubwa. To live a holy life. Kuishi maisha matakatifu. Have a great faith. Kuwa na imani kubwa. To honor God in your ways. Kumheshimu Mungu katika njia zako. That will keep you stronger. Jambo hilo litakuweka uwe imara. And he'll push God to bless you beyond understanding. Na litamsogeza Mungu akubariki zaidi. People always ask me. Watu kila siku nuliza. Why you don't change? Kwa nini ubadiliki? You long young bado unaonekana bado mchibarobaro hubadiliki same passion yani una haja zako ni zile zile always love kila kitu kila siku una cheka una furaha you are blessed guy umebarikiwa nations respect you mataifa yanakuheshimu are you still humble lakini bado unanyekea kila mtu anaweza kuja kukuona hello brother ndugu yangu i have no choice sina sina uchaguzi When God has broken you, Mungu akiwa amekuponda ponda, utatembea vizuri. If you want to lift up your child, ukitaka kuinua mabega yako, remind where you take you from. Atakukumbusha alikokutoa. I say, kuwa na imani. Just you can be holy as Christ was holy. Yaani uwe mtakatifu jinsi Kristo alikuwa mtakatifu. Kuwa na imani. Just you can overcome sin. Uweze kuishinda dhambi. And walk in righteousness. Na utembee katika haki. Kuwa na imani. Now you can challenge the devil. Ambao unaweza kum 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 kumwangalia shetani. Ya changa ama challenge ama kum chokoza ama kum kumkabidhi kumkabili shetani. And tell him. Na muambie. In all I possess. Kwa yote ambayo namiliki. Show me yours. Nioneshe vya kwako. You see in all i possess yani katika vyote ninavyomiliki from my wife mke wangu my own life maisha yangu yenyewe my kids what wanangu nyumba yangu my car nyu, gari langu mimi nilicho na huduma yangu show me what belongs to you hebu nionyeshe kipi ni cha kwako if it belongs to take it kama ni cha kwako kichukue you see holiness 
Tazama Purity. utakatifu. Transformation. Tazama utakatifu na mabadiliko. Is missing in a church. Haupo tena kanisani. That why people think being blessed is having money. Watu wanadhani kuwa kubarikiwa ni kuwa na hela. And having stuff. Na kuwa na mali. They gain money by any means. Yaani wanatafuta hela kwa njia yote ile. Sexual morality corruption whatever. Hata kama ni ufisadi chochote kile. And they think they are blessed. Wanadhani kuwa wamebarikiwa. No my brother. Hapana ndugu yangu. The best blessing. Baraka ya kwanza. Is to make sure God is your provider. Ni kuhakikisha kuwa Mungu ndiye mpaji wako. If he's your friend. Kama ni rafiki yako. He will I mean he'll pour on you. Kama kama ni rafiki yako atamimina. To overcome poverty is one thing. Kushinda umaskini ni jambo moja. To overcome sin is another thing. Kushinda dhambi ni jambo jingine. To overcome the world is another thing. Kushinda ulimwengu ni jambo jingine. To overcome your nature is another thing. The your nature, your old nature. Kushinda asili yako ni jambo jingine. Kabla hajaja nalisikia mambo mengi tu kuhusu yeye. Some talk which was not holy. Yaani kuhusu story kadhaa ambazo hazikuwa na utaua ndani yake. And some behavior which not holy. Na baadhi ya tabia ambazo zilikuwa takatifu. And even some some uh, he, he went somewhere and pray for the guy and then took some alcohol bottle and then instead of delivering him and later he drank the, the alcohol one why you shocking na siku moja analisikia alikwenda sehemu akamwombea mlevi mmoja mlevi na badala ya kumkomboa akachukua ile pombe baadaye nasikia kwa hiyo pombe oh. aliinywa nyumbani so i ask him do you recognize such 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 story kwa hivyo nikamuuliza je unaweza ku, ku, kukumbuka ama ku ambatana na hadithi hii hii na ile you spoke to such lady that if you want to pray for her she first give you some money or guarantee before you pray for her and so have you done this je ni kweli kuwa kuna binti mmoja kabla umuombee ukamwambia kuwa lazima unipe hela au akupatiwa kisho fulani na jambo hilo je ulilifanya Have you spoken this to this to this to this je umesema hiki kwa yule kwa huyu na hivi He looked down. Akaangalia chini. He cried. Akalia. And he said, Akasema, Apostle, Mtume, it is so strong beyond me. Hili jambo lina nguvu sana kuniliko. Though God used me. Ingawaje Mungu anantumia. But I'm slave of sin. Lakini ni kama vile mimi ni mtumwa wa dhambi. I've traveled this for years. Nimekaa na hili kwa miaka mingi. Nobody know that. Hakuna anayejua. But I'm broken. I, it's enough. Lakini jambo hili limeniponda na sima imetosha. I say my son. Nikasema mwanangu, can you stop ministry why? Unaweza kuacha huduma kwa muda kwanza. Come here for two months. Na uje hapa kwa miezi miwili. Sit here in my guest room. Ukae hapa kwenye chumba changu cha wageni. And allow me to minister to you. Na uniruhusu nikuhudumie. Because your life is much better than your ministry. Kwa sababu maisha yako ni bora zaidi kuliko huduma yako. I mean your, your life speaking is higher than what you can do. Yaani maisha yako kunena tu kabla utamke ni bora zaidi. What you do everybody can do it. God qualifying him. Kwa sababu only you are nobody can be you. Kwa sababu kila ambacho unakifanya kila mtu anaweza kukifanya. Mungu anaweza utafuta mtu akakifanya hicho. Lakini kila ambacho ulicho ni wewe tu. Somebody may call it double portion of your anointing, not double card. Mtu anaweza kupata maradufu ya upako wako lakini hawezi kupata maradufu ya tabia yako. So stop shocking people. Kwa hivyo acha kushtua watu. Stop come be shocked you. Njo kwanza shtuka mwenyewe. If you want you want me to be your father. Kama unataka ni baba yako. Look at me. Niangalie. See what you are seeing now. Kila ambacho unakiona sasa may be a result of more than 35 years kinaweza kuwa matokeo ya zaidi ya 35 because god took 30 years to prepare his own son who was god faultless kwa sababu mungu alichukua miaka 30 kumwandaa mwanawe ambaye alikuwa kristo and he used him for three years na akamtumia kwa akamtumia miaka mitatu tu yani fungu la 10 ya hilo so if god could prepare christ for 30 years kwa hivyo kama Mungu anaweza kumwandaa Kristo kwa miaka 30 who was faultless ambaye alikuwa hana dhambi to prepare him 30 years 
Amuandae kwa miaka 30. How much more you need 100 years to be prepared? Je, unahitaji vipi zaidi ya miaka 100 kuandaliwa? Stop. Acha. Stop it. Acha. I thought he can understand. Nilidhani kuwa ataelewa. He went. Akaenda. Promised to come back. Aka akahidi atarudi. He never came back. Hakurudi tena. One year later. Mwaka mmoja baadaye. Another young man came. Kijana mwingine akaja. I knew him for 993. Nilimfahamu miaka mingi iliyopita 93 huko. I didn't know the first one connect to the second one. Sikujua huyu wa kwanza ana muunganiko fulani wa pili. He told the He told the, the one who came the second one. Akamwambia yule aliyekuja mara ya pili. The one who used to be a pastor somewhere. Akamwambia yule aliyekuwa mchungaji wako sehemu fulani. He has become a great man in Rwanda. Amefanyika mtu mkubwa Rwanda. If this man opened doors for you. Huyo mtu akikufungulia milango. You will be blessed. Utabarikiwa. Kifedha, materially, I mean mali, be blessed. Utabarikiwa. So just go there. Kwa hivyo nenda huko. Don't tell him you know me. Usimwambie unanifahamu. Just go reminding him your story in the past. Wewe nenda tu mkumbushe story hizo za zamani. So one evening, kwa hivyo jioni moja, I get a phone call. Nikapata simu. The second one called. Yule kijana wa pili akaja. Oh papa, I'm around. Akamwambia, "Oh papa, niko mjini." You know this fake people know how to speak. Unajua hao watu ambao ni fake wanajua jinsi ya kuzungumza. They can look like humble. Wanaweza ku wanaweza kuonekana kama vile nyekevu, yani wajanja kweli. They know how to speak unajua unajua kabisa yeah, these guys are very complicated stuff. wanajua jinsi ya kuongea hao jamaa huwezi kugundua kwa ukiupesi he passed my phone call papa you know it has been long almost 23 i didn't know you were alive so we heard you died and wonder so please can you oh, man i'm happy you are alive <laughs> Unajua papa ni miaka mingi tangu tuachane sija kuona miaka mingi tangu siku hizo tukasikia story nyingi tulidhani umefariki bwana tunashukuru Mungu sana uko hai This one was worse Huyu alikuwa mbaya zaidi First day he preached Siku ya kwanza akahubiri And then he preached cry moved people I mean it was like oh my god heaven on earth Akahubiri machozi akatoa watu wakasogezwa watu wakapata hisia yani ulidhani kuwa mbingu imeshuka So I called him my home my home my place Nikamuita kwangu nyumbani We share meal Tukala pamoja And then I say Nikama, my son Nikamwambia mwanangu This is a prayer room Hiki ndicho chumba cha maombi This is your guest room Na hiki ndicho chumba chako cha kulala You can stay here Utakaa hapa Everything is a self contained. Kila kitu kimo ndani huko. And then your prayer room is here. Alafu chumba chako cha maombi kiko hapa. Tutakutana hapa kila siku saa tisa za asubuhi. He said, "Papa, you know me. I like to pray the whole night and then sleep in the morning. So I, I like I Akaniambia papa unajua mimi tabia yangu naomba usiku mzima nitalala asubuhi tu. So if you allow me I wanna go to the hotel it's much better free you know uh, just a hotel. Kwa hivyo akaniambia ukiniruhusu papa acha nikalale kwenye hoteli mgawani kule oja pale hoteli niko na uhuru fulani. I took him to the hotel Nika, close by. Nikampeleka kwenye hoteli iliyoko karibu. Guess what? The following day he came early morning 6. Siku iliyofuata alikuja asubuhi saa 12 za asubuhi. He's hungry. Akasema naona njaa. We prepare whole global fufu. Tukamwandalia chakula kizito. The cassava bread in the morning. Ugari. In the morning 6. Hey. Hey. Tulimwandalia ugali mkubwa asubuhi saa 12. And he destroyed the whole chicken. Jamaa alikula kuku mzima. So when I look at him he say, you know, us because of praying too much night so and he was taking ganja or, or weed or shamvu or uh, he was taking I mean this is Akasema unajua mchungaji sisi kwa sababu tunaomba usiku mzima ndio maana chakula kikija tunakipiga kweli kweli. Lakini huyu jamaa alikuwa anavuta sigara kubwa ile, mnaijua. Yeah, bangi. I don't know you how called in Swahili. Bangi. Alikuwa akivuta bangi macho nyekundo kama damu unawaza ameomba kumbi jamii. Kama huyu ni kijambazi ni ah! And how shocked. Na nilishtuka. Now he could prophesy. 
aliweza kutoa unabii I mean you know the church doesn't believe that the supernatural is not only divine it can be demonic too unajua kanisa haliamini kuwa mambo ya miujiza yaweza kuwa pia kutoka kwa ulimwengu wa giza people think to know future is just for believers no the demonic one can be and want to know the detail of you coming unajua watu wanadhani kuwa kujua kesho yako ni kwa wale wanaomtumikia Mungu tu lakini hata pia ulimwengu wa giza waweza kuambia kesho yako kwa kimahususi divination is close by prophecy uchawi unatokana kwa unabii so tonight unakaribiana I want to challenge you kwa hivyo usiku wa leo nataka nikutie changamoto in another pure faith katika imani nyingine safi usimame kwa ajili ya utakatifu ukubali Kristo akubadilishe ufanane naye then fix will follow alafu situation will change following you alafu mazingira na hali ambazo zilizobadilika zitakufuata Things you want to get quickly you are giving the devil the room to find your appetite quickly answered Mambo unahitaji kupata mvio mbio tamaa yako inampa adui njia akujazie vitu hata vibaya Tamaa na japo hiyo ungengoela kidogo tu haya hiyo mambo yatakuja vizuri huko mbele sana nyingi sana tena ajabu sana if you are just if you would just wait a bit if you just study a bit and wait those things would have found you more ahead of you jami hamunijui kwa maisha yangu you don't know my life friends dawapa siri zangu hiyo mangaribu i will share with you my life secrets kwani inabidi mjue kabisa siri ya nguvu itadumu hata milele you ought to know the secret behind the power that is what will sustain the power you know why i'm here today je unajua kwa nini niko hapa leo we know why i can come last february when the thunder when the darkness follow when we are in trouble and coming unajua kwa nini nili coming in next year Una... because relationship and consistently and faithfulness is a character which come from above unajua kwa nini naweza kuwa niliku... kwa nini nilikuja hapa mwezi ule wa pili wakati dhoruba ilitupiga wakati giza lilitusukuma na kwa nini nikaja tena mwezi wa nne mwaka jana? Na kwa nini nimekuja tena hapa kwenu mwezi wa nne mwaka huu? Na kwa nini nitakuja? Kwa sababu uaminifu na ukakamavu na tabia njema ni vitu vya kudumu. I mean Yesterday if somebody could end they could say this apostle came from fundraising. How? How come people are rushing to give their money? thousand of dollar you was dressing this and still me i came thinking i'm going to fund you to raise you up because when you are faithful to the lord stuff follows you jana inawezekana mtu ambaye aliingia kwa kupita tu akasema kuwa huyu mtume amekuja hapa arusha kuchangisha hela lakini mimi sikuja hapa kwa hilo nimekuja hapa kwa ajili ya kazi ambayo Mungu amenituma lakini naambia uaminifu utafuatwa na vitu I know poverty najua kuhusu maskini I know lacking najua kuhusu kukosa vitu I know to have a beautiful wife and not being able to clothe her for years najua kuhusu kuhusu kuwa na mke ambaye anapendeza lakini huwezi kumvisha kwa miaka mingi I know to take some black tea no hope to get milk. Najua kuhusu kunywa strungi kila siku bila maziwa. I know to preach the gospel and then when you come back you have no ticket to take the taxi. 
and then somebody take you to the car you sit in you come out to walk by foot najua kuhusu kwenda kuhubiri injili alafu una usafiri wa kwenda kwako nyumbani mtu anakuja anakupatia lift anakufikisha sehemu unapiga guu hadi kwako i know how to pray for somebody he get $40,000 US he called you count the money in your side and let you go by foot no ticket <laughs> I know that. Najua kuhusu kumwombea mtu ana akapata madola ya elfu, elfu arobaini anakuita mchungaji bunyeshabia hizi hela ukamhesabia hela alafu anakuambia kwa heri mchungaji tuo nani. He count them and if we thank God for that and you go almost cursing him how to snake him how to snake him almost cursing him and they guys say why are you angry i'm angry because he called me to see money no money to say God. <laughs> Najua kuhusu Najua kuhusu mtu anakuita amepata hela mkamuo mkaomba mkamshukuru Mungu akakuaga bila hata senti unapoondoka umekasirika kweli kidogo tu mlaani ukiulizwa mchungaji umekasirika kwa nini jamaa kaniita nikamhesabiwa hata ndururu hajanipa and you say be happy because i asked your prayer not because your money the money is not yours just be faithful because i can hear you and bless somebody You are just a blesser not blessed one yet. Mungu anasema usifurahi kwa sababu ya hela. Furahi kwa sababu najibu maombi yako. Umekuja ukamwombea huyo jamaa na amepata. Usifurahi kwa sababu ya hela. Furahi kwa sababu waweza kubariki. Baraka zako ziko njiani zaja. Let me tell you this. Oh my God, help me. You know the departure of the bishop Shumbusho must leave you a master seed for explosion this ministry will never be the same things you never see in terms of number quality reaching nation you would get it in another another level but work on purity work on holiness work on faithfulness i mean let this stuff fall don't be much in money in prosperity be much in pleasing god and see things happen ndugu zangu kuondoka kwa askofu shumbusho lazima kuwe kumewaachia ile mbegu mama mbegu mama kwa ajili ya mlipuko patakuwa na mlipuko kweli na mtauona ulipuko kwa ajili ya upanuko kwa kanisa kuongezeko wa kanisa lakini msizingatie sana mambo hayo ya hela mali na vitu angalieni sana utaua uaminifu na utakatifu si si bible says When a seed falling soul and die if it doesn't die it stay alone Maandiko yanasema kuwa mbegu isipoanguka kwenye ardhi na ikafa isipokuwa hivyo basi itabaki peke yake But the way the seed can multiply and great impact is just one way na, The seed must die and I know for sure Shumbusho departure is the best offer God can give you for explosion na ni jinsi moja tu mbegu inaweza kuzaa ikapanuka ni hadi ya mbegu ianguke ardhini ife ili iweze kupanuka ndugu zangu nawaambieni kuondoka kwa shumbusho ndio jambo zawadi kubwa ambayo Mungu anaweza kuwapa kwa ajili ya kuwatanua you can believe me now but let me give you my example i grown up i give you the way i grown up in ministry brokenness but i can swear nobody under my ministry will die frustrated between provision and the vision because i'm already broken for that so that the prosperity can be released to my people nimewashirikisha nyinyi kuhusu maisha yangu tangu nianze huduma jinsi ambavyo Mungu ameniponda ponda katika miaka yote hiyo najua kuhusu kukosa katika huduma umaskini katika huduma lakini hiyo ilikuwa ni mbegu kwa ajili ya wale wote walio chini yangu katika huduma yangu hamna yote katika huduma yangu ataangaika kati ya maono na upaji kwa ajili ya maono hayo I went for prayer for 40 days in Kabale Uganda Nilikwenda kwa maombi siku arobaini Kabale Uganda And my friend Kiza Kwa rafiki yangu Kiza kule When I was on the 35th day Na siku ya 31 hivi He came in Akaja God said to me Mungu kaniambia This man of God Huyo mtumishi wa Mungu is struggling with favor Analumbana kuhusu jambo la kibali He's a hard worker but the result is little Anatenda kazi kwa bidii lakini matokeo hamna He has no favor Hana hana kibali no provision on all he dreamed for upaji kwa kile ambacho anakiamini 
you have what he needs you have what he needs wewe unacho kila ambacho anakihitaji release favor to him achilie kibali juu yake because i prepared you to release kwa sababu nimekuandaa kuachilia kibali your painful past zamani yako yenye uchungu has created a package imekuumbia kifurushi to be trustworthy uwe mwaminifu katika hela na katika mali na katika kibali kwa ajili ya wengine akasema yeye pia He has authority. Ana mamlaka. People respect him. Watu wanamheshimu. You? Wewe? Some despise you. Wengine wanamkuza rao. So you need his authority. Kwa hivyo unahitaji mamlaka yake. Give him favor. Mpatie kibali. I say apostle. Nikasema mtume. He is a exchange. Hebu tubadilishane bwana. I give you favor. Nakupatia kibali. You give me authority. Unanipa mamlaka. From that day. Tangu siku hiyo. He bought a house. Alinunua nyumba. He was ready alikuwa akipangisha bali akapata gari alikuwa ki tembea tembea kawaida tu he quick from the job he was aliacha ile kazi aliyokuwa akifanya kwa sababu kabla hapo alikuwa anafanya kazi na huduma pale pale today he that time he didn't travel even london wakati huo alikuwa hajasafiri hata kwenda uingereza bye God save on me. Lakini kwa kibali cha Mungu aliyeweka juu yangu. Exchanging. Tukabadilishana. <laughs> God cannot turn trust you things which are above your capacity to handle. Mungu hawezi kukupatia imani kitu ambacho imani yako haiwezi kukibeba. He can trust you money when you are troubling second just to see some money and you check like this change the whole last of money Mungu hawezi kupatia la nyingi ili hali ukipata kibunda kidogo tu unapiga magoti You become sleepless Una unakosa usingizi So the first tonight is to stretch your capacity Kwa hivyo to manage to carry to what as he wants kazi ya leo ni kutanua imani yako uweze kupata uweza na nafasi ya kutosha utembee na kuishi jinsi alivyo and believe me na amini usiamini when your face reach a point imani yako inapo reach a point inapofika mahali where you are fully dependent on him ambapo wewe asilimia mia unamtegemea Mungu fully consecrated asilimia mia umejiweka kwake allowing him to transform me as he wants na unamruhusu akubadilishe jinsi atakavyo when he approve you anapokukubali he is pleased with you na apendezwe na wewe you know did money huhitaji hela provision will come you know struggle yani vitu vitakuja bila malumbano so you have a choice kwa hivyo uchaguzi ni wako running after money kukimbiza hela running after intimacy with him au kukimbiza ule uhusiano wa karibu na yeye increasing your bank account kupanua account yako ya benki or increasing your consecration au kuendeleza kuongeza utauwa wako it's a matter of choice uchaguzi ni wako and the whole system of this world na mfumo mzima wa ulimwengu huu just taking people prisoner of the last ni kukuweka uwe mtumwa wa tamaa last of eyes tamaa ya macho last of fish tamaa ya mwili pride of life kiburi cha uzima the whole stuff in this world is about that yani vitu vyote na mifumo yote hapa duniani ni kuhusu hayo competitions mashindano who is more beautiful than the other one ni nani anapendeza kumliko mwingine who does better than that one ni nani anafanya kwa zaidi ya yule you want to sell a caterpillar or Tepila. Unataka kuuza katapila tena tena tena. Yes, tena tena. Aha. Then you have to put some naked lady aside because the whole world is about last of eyes. Sasa unataka the kuuza flesh. tinga tinga kubwa zile lazima umchukue binti aliyevaa aja eh? umweke kando pale. So the whole system is I mean corrupt. Yaani ukiangalia mifumo yote imeharibika. Even the church hata kanisa So God is saying for special people who are going to change this situation. Kwa hivyo Mungu anawatafuta watu wa kipekee ambao watabadilisha hii hali. Who are now overcome the world? Ambao wataushinda ulimwengu. Okay, let's go to the scripture. Sasa sorry. tuende katika maandiko. Sorry, sorry, sorry for example, sorry. Samani sorry. sana. Let's go to the scripture. Maandiko sasa. 
First John 5, 3, uh, yes, 3 to 4. Waraka wa kwanza Yohana sura ya 5 mstari wa 3 na 4. In fact, this is the love for God to keep his command and his command are not burdensome for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world. Now, read with me. Our I don't get you. Our faith. I don't get you it. Kwa maana huku ndiko kumpenda mungu. Kwamba, tuzishike amri zake. Wala amri zake sinzito. Kwa maana, kila kitu kilicho zaliwa na mungu, huushinda ulimwengu. Na huku ndiko kushinda, kushindako ulimwengu. Hiyo ni... I want just to come back. This is a victory that has overcome the world. Even, even, even what? Our faith. faith. Nataka turudie hilo. Na, kwa maana, kila kitu, samahani, kwa maana huku ndiko kumpenda mungu. Kwamba, samahani, tena sana. Ntanzia, kila kitu kilitozaliwa na mungu, huushinda ulimwengu. Na huku ndiko kushinda kushindako ulimwengu hiyo hiyo imani yetu so if you are you have a great faith kwa hivyo kama una imani kubwa you have great victory una ushindi mkubwa if you have less faith kama una imani ndogo you have less victory una ushindi mdogo so increasing our faith kwa hivyo kutanua imani yetu is increasing our capacity to overcome the world ni kuongeza uwezo wetu wa kuweza kushinda ulimwengu that our target tonight hilo ndilo lengo letu usiku wa leo a greater faith imani kubwa to overcome the world kushinda ulimwengu to overcome the challenge of this world kushinda changamoto za ulimwengu huu to overcome sin kushinda dhambi second first john chapter 2 verse 15 up to 17 andiko la pili yohana waraka wa kwanza yohana sura ya pili mstari wa 15 na 17 do not do not love the world or anything in the world. Usiupende ulimwengu au chochote katika dunia hii. If anyone love the world, love the Father is known in them. Ba na ba yeye kama again sir. Msiipende dunia wala mambo yaliyomo katika dunia. Mtu akiipenda dunia kumpenda baba hakumo ndani yake. For everything the world is about the lust of the flesh maana kila kilichoma duniani yani the lust of the eyes tamaa ya ya mwili na tamaa ya macho and the pride of life na kiburi cha uzima that one comes not from the father havitokani na baba but from the world bali vyatokana na dunia the world and its desires pass away na dunia inapita pamoja na tamaa zake the will of god bali yeye afanyie mapenzi ya mungu lives Remain. Adumu. Stand. Adumu. Stand. Atabaki. Not for one year. Atasimama si mwaka mmoja au miwili. Not for one week. Si mitatu au wiki moja. Va. Ni hata milele. Hebrews 11:1. Waibrania 11. Now faith is confident in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Basi imani ni kuwa na Hakika ya mambo ya tarajiwayo ni bayana ya mambo ya sionekana. Hebrews 12, 1 to 3. Waraka wa Ubrania, kwa Ubrania, sura 12, mstari wa kwanza, hadi wa tatu. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, ba- basi na sisi pia, kwa kuwa tunazungukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi, let us throw off everything that handles and the sin that so easily untold us. Na tuweke kando kila mzigo mzito na dhambi ile ituzingayo kwa upesi. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Na tupige mbio kwa saburi katika yale mashindano yaliyowekwa mbele yetu. Pay attention to this. Sikiliza hapa. He is a perfecter. Yeye pia. He is a consumer. Ndiye anahitimisha. He is a finisher. Yeye ndiye anemaliza. He is the omega. Yeye ndiye omega. He star. Alianza. He finish. Anamaliza. Because this one, kwa sababu dunia hii, this one, the pioneer, kwa sababu huyu mwanzilishaji, the perfect of faith, na anaitimiliza imani, for the joy set before him, kwa ajili ya furaha iliyowekwa mbele yake, he and the cross, 
ali ustahimili msalaba scorning its sin na kuidharau aibu and set down the right hand of the throne nae ameketi mkono wa kuume wa kiti cha enzi cha Mungu he undo the cross ali stahimili msalaba scorning its sin akaidharau aibu set down the right hand of the throne ameketi mkono wa kuume wa Mungu baba i like that i like that napenda hilo see if you don't see anything you can stand any challenge anasema hivi kama huwezi chochote kama huoni kitu kule mbele basi huwezi kustahimili changamoto yoyote you don't get me you will never become beyond what you see hutawahi kufanyika zaidi ya kile ambacho unakiona and you will never possess beyond what you see na hutaweza kumiliki zaidi ya kile ambacho unakiona you never resist beyond what the vision you get hutaweza kupinga zaidi ya yale maono ambayo unayapata you don't get me bado mnielewi when stefan stefano sees the lord anamuona bwana standing amesimama he was able to forgive aliweza kusamehe and release people na akaachilia watu he say i forgive you akasema na wasamee don't count it musi hesabiwe now here the story sasa hadithi ndio hii biblia nasema cross who is our founder and perfecter of our faith kristo ambaye ni mwanzilishi na anayetimiliza imani yetu because of what god has for him kwa sababu ya kile ambacho mungu anacho kwa ajili yake because of the future kwa sababu ya siku za mbeleni what he could see kila alichoweza kuona the name above all names jina juu ya majina mengine yote utukufu utukufu wa kristo to be sitting in right side of the na kukaa katika mkono wa kumi wa mungu baba that vision maono hayo enabled him yalimwezesha to stand confident kusimama kwa uhakika through the cross kustahimili msalaba so faith kwa hivyo imani in hope for what he hoped for yale aliyotarajia Hoping in a father. Akimtarajia katika baba. Having faith in a father. Akiwa na imani kwa baba. He will become later. Na kwa kile ambacho atafanyika baadaye. Today. Leo he faced the cross. Ali he faced the cross. Leo akastahimili msalaba. He faced the cross. Akadharau aibu. Just fight it. Akaidharau. Have faith enough. Akawa na imani ya kutosha. Kushinda mchangamoto. And later. Baadaye he said akakaa akakaa mkono wa kuume wa baba you too wewe pia something is ahead kuna kitu mbele yako something is ahead kuna kitu mbele yako some glory is ahead kuna utukufu mbele yako kuna utukufu mbele yako kuna thawabu mbele yako i don't know what you are passing through sijui unapitia nini tonight usiku wa leo hey fear kuwa na imani to challenge the challenges kuweza kushinda changamoto to overcome the challenges kushinda changamoto Scorn and it is spies. Uwe, uweze kudharau kila changamoto. What you see? Kwa sababu ya kila mtu anakiona utukufu. Glory is ahead. Utukufu mbele yako. Therefore, kwa hivyo. Kona. Sasa. Despise. Dharau. Fight. Dharau. Piga vita. Won the battle. Shinda vita. Snago. Hebu endelee. One day very soon. Piga vita na siku moja. Punde si punde. Utakaa mkono wa kume na baba na utaimba wimbo mpya. Very soon. Punde si punde. Imani yako. Imani yako itatawaibiwa. Punde si punde. Utaimba wimbo mpya. Punde si punde utangaa. That's our role model. Huyo ndiye mfano wetu, kielelezo chetu. The one when he wanted to stand firm. When he wants you to stand firm. Akitaka wewe usimame imara. He give you some revelation. Atakupatia ufunuo. Then you see something. Alafu utaona kitu. And to make you stand. Ukuwezeshe usimame. If today. Kama leo. This lady can stand. Mama huyu anaweza kusimama. The whole waves and the whole you can imagine. Doruba zote hizo na vyote ambavyo mwaweza kuvikumbuka. She saw something. Aliona aliona kitu miaka iliyopita. And the faith in what she saw. Sasa kwa sababu ya kile ambacho alikiona. She can stand what she passed through. Anaweza kustahimili kile ambacho anakipitia. The faithful one in heaven. Lakini yule mwaminifu mbinguni. Never let somebody down. Hata mwangusha yote. You will see whatever you see. Hata kiona kile ambacho unakiona nisemeje bwana unajua kwa kinyarwanda mhm kwa kinyarwanda bwana ndio 
Papa. Uh, kuona na macho na kupokea kwa mfuko ni mambo moja bwana. Eh? Eh, yote ni kuona tu. In in the Rwandese language, in the Rwandese language to see and to receive it in your pocket, it's one and the same thing. Ni hivyo bwana, sikia kisa unasema. Ndio. Nduza bwana hicho tabanje kubona. Things that you didn't see before. Therefore, whoever has a bigger vision than yours is more blessed than you. God told Abraham this. As far as your eyes can see, I will give you the land. As far as your eyes can see, if you see far, you will find much more. If you see near, you will get little. I have to sum it in. Tia mambo one. Tia mambo uko. Mba mbio mbio one. Let's go to Daniel. Twende kitabu cha Danieli. Tunga first verse 8 and 9. Danieli sura ya 8. Daniel 1:8 and 9. Danieli sura ya kwanza mstari ni wa 8 na 9. But Daniel is resolved her, yeah, resolved not to defile himself with the ro- with the royal food daniel akachukua muzi as yeah the royal food and wine as jichafue na kile chakula katika ikulu ya mfalme and he asked the chief officer for permission na akamwomba yule kiongozi afisa kwa ruhusa not to defile himself this way akasema hataki kujichafua na mvinyo huu Call the officer to show favor and compassion. Sasa Mungu akamsababisha yule afisa aweze kumpendelea Danieli. Hebrew 11:23 up to 27. Waabrania 11 mstari wa 23. Just I'll give free people example and then close. Nataka nitoe mifano michache alafu nifunge. Ah this about Moses. Hii ni kuhusu Musa. Hebrews 11 from 23 up to 27. Waibrania 11 kuanzia 23 hadi 27. By faith Moses parents hired him for three months after he was born. Kwa imani Musa alipozaliwa akafichwa miezi mitatu na wazazi wake. Because they saw he was no ordinary child. Kwa sababu waliona kwamba ni mtoto mzuri. And they were not afraid of the king's edict. Wala hawakuiogopa amri ya mfalme. Listen this. Hebu By faith Moses when he had grown up. Kwa imani Musa alipokuwa mtu mzima refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh though. Akakataa kuitwa mwana wa binti Farao. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy to enjoy the temporary the fleeting pleasures of sin. Akaona ni afadhali kupata mateso pamoja na watu wa Mungu kuliko kujifurahisha katika dhambi kwa kitambo. He regarded this grace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasures of Egypt because he was looking akihesabu ya kuwa kushtumiwa kwake Kristo ni utajiri mkuu kuliko hazina za Misri kwa kuwa alitazamia hayo malipo malipo ngoela bwana itakuja tu by faith he left Egypt kwa imani akatoka Misri not fearing the king's anger asiogope ghadhabu ya mfalme he persevered because 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 maana alistahimili alistahimili because because bwana he persevered because alistahimili kwa sababu he saw aliyemuona not the visible si kile ambacho kinaoshikika how how can you stand confidently when you saw uh, uh, in fact how can you see the invisible 
unawezaje kuona kisichoonekana I don't know If somebody say I saw something Mtu akisema niliona kitu And they ask what have you seen Na unamuuliza unaona nini He said it's invisible Naona kisichoonekana You will say go quick to the clinic Utamwambia kimbia hospitalini This is trauma Wewe umechanganyikiwa Bible says Maandiko yanasema strength which allow me to stand firm Nguvu tu inayonisababisha mimi nisimame imara. He saw. Aliona. The reward. Malipo. He saw the invisible. Aliona kisichoonekana. That faith. Hiyo ni imani. Because faith. Imani is confidence. Ni uhakika on a future. Wa kesho. Because hope means future. Kwa sababu yatareji wayo ama tumaini inamaanisha kesho. It's assurance. Ni bayana in the invisible. Ya kile kisichoonekana. So when you saw. Kwa hivyo alipoona invisible kisichoonekana na unaona tumaini unamwamini aliyesema unaweza kustahimili kila vita unaweza kustahimili kila changamoto unaweza kustahimili kila majaribu unaweza kustahimili kila uchokozi na unaweza kuhakikisha utasimama siku moja ukiangalia macho ya Kristo na useme Yesu nilipiga vita na nikaipigania imani sasa 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 of righteousness kofia taji ya haki the crown of holiness taji ya utakatifu the crown of righteousness taji ya haki is prepared for me imeandaliwa kwa ajili yangu that was paul said huyo ndio paul alivyosema he said paul alisema give a second timothy i think for timotheo wa pili naamini sura ya 4 ah yeah it must be Yeah, second Timothy verse chapter 4 I think from from 6 up to 8 yeah yes you're right Timotheo wa pili sura ya 4 mstari wa 6 hadi wa 8 Number one, he said, for I'm already being poor or out like a drink offering La kwanza akasema kwa maana mimi sasa namiminwa Yes namiminwa namiminwa kama na mimi na kama maji. Oh yeah, ama kama maji. Uh, and the time for my departure is near. Na wakati wa kufariki kwangu umefika. Somebody speak about this part like giving some birthday announcement. Yaani mtu anazungumzia kuhusu kufa kwake kama vile ku, siku yake ya kuzaliwa. Ama ya ndoa bwana, ya, 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 ya rusi. Kama ya rusi ya ndoa. Jesus my time of departure is close. Bro. Anasema kufa kwangu kumekaribia. It's like by Father it's going to be my birthday come celebrate. Ni kama vile jamani alamisi itakuwa siku yangu ya ndoa ya kuzaliwa njoo nisherekee. Kama my departure is near. Yaani muda wangu wa kufariki umekaribia. For the good fight. Anasema nimepiga vita vizuri. I finished the race. Nimemaliza mbio. It's a good thing. Na jambo zuri. I've kept. Nimepigania imani. I've kept it. Nimepigania. Nobody removed it from my hand. Yaani hakuna mtu aliyoitoa mkononi mwangu. I still have it. Bado ninayo. I still hold it. Bado naishikilia. I don't lose it. Bado naishikilia sijaipoteza. Bado ninayo. I'm still hold on it. Bado naishikilia. Through fire. Kupitia moto. Through rivers. Kupitia maji. Garika. Majaribu. Doruba. I'm still hold on it. Bado nimeishikilia. Give me the last one. Nipe nipe ya mwisho hiyo. And then na na is a reward sasa bwana sasa <laughs> is in store not for anybody else sasa na chungiwa bwana hii ni mambo yao wananichungia bwana now they have kept this for me not for anybody else kwa benki bwana mambo haya they have bwana. kept this in their account for me this Sasa thing nangwela, now i'm going siku ya harusi bwana nangwela to bwana. my wedding day wanani kabisa wanani chungia bwana they have kept this kwa for me store. in the store siku mwingine not for anybody else siku ndugu not for my brother siku baba not for the dad siku mama not for the mom 
for me it is for me I, for me <laughs> for me alone they have kept them in the store Taj. crown not a crown of money a crown of holiness a crown of sanctification a crown of faithfulness I'm looking for a crown. Is there a crown anywhere? Is there a crown anywhere? My crown. My crown of purity, faithfulness, holiness. Not a man to give me. His excellency. His excellency has kept a crown of righteousness for me. The righteous judge Yule Hakimu Mwenye Wahaki will a word to me Atanitawabia Mimi on that day Siku hiyo and not only to me Sio kwangu tu but also to all who have long for his approval Lakini kwa wote ambao wamesubiri na kuwa na haja ya kuja kwake Beloved ndugu zangu I know we are under pressure of this world Najua tuna and the world is pressing us to look like them. Na dunia inachuchinikiza tufanane nao. Too much concern about our possession. Yaani mambo yote yanelekezwa katika mali. But let me tell you this. Lakini acha nikwambie. Transformation. Mabadiliko come first before position. Huja kabla nafasi, kabla mali. The one you are positioning. Na ukiwa unapata mali, position will follow. Unapopata nafasi, basi mali zitakufuata. Don't change the order. Usibadilisho taratibu huo. Be transformed. Badilisho kwanza. When God approve your transformation. Mungu anapopendezwa na kubadilishwa kwako. He positioning you. Atakuweka katika nafasi. Once in position. Na ukiwa katika nafasi. The position according to the position. Basi mali kulingana na nafasi hiyo. Will follow. Zitafuata. I swear. Na will follow. Na hapa vitakufuata. It may look like takes long. Vinaweza kuna kana kwamba vinachelewa. Don't worry. Usijali. Have faith in him. Kuwa na imani ndani yake. Who promised? Aliahidi. And for sure. Na hakika. He will fulfill. Atatimiza. I am a living example. Mimi ni mfano ulio hai. Oh how God can elevate someone. Jinsi Mungu anavyoweza kumuinua mtu. From stretch. Kutoka mavumbini. If you stand firm and allow him to transform. Ukisimama imara na umruhusu akubadilishe. Born in Rwanda. Na nimezaliwa Rwanda. Refugee in Congo. Mkimbizi Congo. For 35 years. Miaka 35 huko. Hopeless. Sina tumaini. Running after goats, not cows, goats. Yaani nikichunga na kukimbiza mbuzi, si ngombe, mbuzi. And for us the shame na kwetu sisi ni aibu Even the Bible says the goats will be on left side. Hata Biblia inasema kuwa mbuzi watakuwa kushoto. They are good for barbecue. Yaani mbuzi hao ni kuchinjwa nyama choma. But me I was a goat keeper. Lakini mimi nilichunga mbuzi. Shameful. Jambo la aibu. Hopeless. Hamna tumaini. And then I got saved. Alafu nikaokoka. When I got saved. Nilipookoka. God took time. Mungu atua muda. No man no money. Hamna hela. No change. Hamna outsider. Yani, niko nje. He taught me to love him. Ali nifundisha kumpenda. He taught me to hold on him. Ali nifundisha kushikamana na yeye. Leo, I can bless nations. Naweza kubariki mataifa. Why? Kwa nini? Allow him to change me. Nilimruhusu anibadilishe. I'm not scared. Sio gopi. With the future. Kwa ajili ya kesho. Because I allow him to change me. Kwa sababu nilimruhusu anibadilishe. I'm masasu. Mimi ni masasu. Hata chini ya mti. Hata huduma yangu huduma yangu ikiondoka haijalishi yeye na mimi bado tutakuwa na huduma kubwa mimi ni huduma nataka niwaambie hili imani yako lazima ihame itoke kwa baraka za Mungu itoke kwa mkono wa Mungu iende kwa uso wa Mungu so you can see his face 
ili uweze kuona uso wake aweze kupendezwa na wewe watu wanaweza kudhihaki because god has not yet Send what is yours. Kwa sababu bado Mungu hajatuma vile ambavyo ni vya kwako. But believe me. Lakini amini usiamini. Time is coming. Muda waja. What you believe in. Kila ambacho umekiamini. Utamiliki, utamiliki. And more than that. Na zaidi ya hayo. You will enjoy it quietly. Utafurahia pole pole. Hizo ni nyama. Nipe stick huko bwana. Mpatie mchungaji toothpick. <laughs> Kwa nini au hao babaiki bwana au why aren't you anxious? Why aren't you worried? Rafiki yangu mbinguni anakaa kwa kiti. My friend in heaven is seated on the throne. Namwamini hata sinzia kamwe I believe that he will not slumber na ushuhuda mpya inakuja And a new testimony is on the way Mambo ni vika mambo ni vibaya bwana Government inabadilika bwana mambo ni hatari bwana kuna crisis kwa watafunga ICTR People tell you things are bad The economy is dwindling. The government is changing. ICTR is closing. Alias kuma nyama angaliki mbinguni abadilike bwana. He who sends meat from heaven changes not. <laughs> <laughs> 